Worms are amazing creatures. They feed on dead plant material, fungi, bacteria and dead animals. They recycle all this organic matter, fertilising the soil. Their poo can be seen as casts on the surface of the soil and it is five times richer in nitrogen and has seven times more phosphorus and a thousand times more beneficial bacteria than the original soil. As they burrow through the soil, they leave little channels, thus loosening and mixing the soil, allowing more oxygen to enter the soil and providing space for water to drain away. They also provide food for other animals such as birds, hedgehogs and frogs. As well as all of this, they can also enhance a process called bioremediation. This is a natural process by which organisms such as bacteria, fungi, worms and plants remove, reduce, degrade or immobilise environmental pollutants, converting them to non-toxic molecules. It is a very exciting way in which to clean up soil that is contaminated with organic contaminants such as petroleum, crude oil hydrocarbons and PCBs. It is also a way of removing metals and metalloids such as arsenic, mercury and lead and micronutrients such as copper and nickel which can become toxic if their concentrations become too high. Levels of contaminants in the soil have increased worldwide since the Industrial Revolution due to a range of human activities such as mining, smelting, oil exploration and refining, transportation and intensive agriculture. For example, there are 3 million sites in the European Economic Area contaminated by potentially toxic elements. Soil contamination is also on the rise in developing countries such as China and India due to the rapid industrialization and urbanization which has been occurring over the past few decades. How worms are involved in bioremediation is simply fascinating and I'm only giving you the very basics here. The way in which they aid in bioremediation of hydrocarbons is by increasing the biomass activity and diversity of the microorganisms that are involved in bioremediation. Earthworms mechanically break down soil particles as they ingest and digest the soil, which increases the surface area of soil organic matter, exposing more material for the microbes to act upon and consequently increasing contamination degradation. As earthworms burrow, some of the cast material mentioned previously and worm mucus is deposited on the burrow walls, along with other organic carbon sources that are transferred through the burrow system. These substances are known to promote the increase and distribution of microorganisms in earthworm burrows and so aid in microbioremediation. Earthworms reduce the concentration of metals and metalloids in two ways. One is by absorption across their surface and the other is by ingesting soil particles which are contaminated along with their food. These contaminants then accumulate in their tissues. The problem then is what to do with the contaminated worms. The effectiveness of this bioaccumulation is influenced by factors such as temperature and soil moisture as well as the species of earthworm. So if you want to clean up a contaminated site, what can you do? Well you could get your earthworms and place them into the contaminated soil or place the contaminated soil in with the population of earthworms as part of their feeding regime. Another way is to place the worm casts directly into the contaminated soil. In April this year, a company in the American state of Washington declared that it was ready to deploy millions of worms to remediate brownfield sites. They also have a large volume of what they are calling vermi substrate ready to apply to the soil. Trials are still underway, but the results are encouraging. It is an exciting area of research full of promise that we humans, with the help of the understated earthworm, can put right some of the damage we have done to the environment. If you have enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe and share with your like-minded friends.